वेलकम एवरी वन विद एन अदर वीडियो ऑन वन फिफ्टी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन लिंग्विस्टिक्स द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज प्रजेंटेड हीयर वट डज हाइपोटैक्सिस मीन हाइपोटैक्सिस इज द ग्रामेटिकल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फंक्शनली सिमिलर बट अन इक्वल कंस्ट्रक्ट्स कंस्ट्रक्ट्स प्लेइंग एन अन इक्वल रोल इन अ सेंटेंस वट डज फिजियन लैंग्वेज मीन A Pidgin language is a simplified language that develops as a means of communication between two or more groups that do not have a language in common. What is a Creole? A Creole is a well-defined and stable language that originated from a non-trivial combination of two or more languages, typically with many distinctive features that are not inherited from either parent. What is difference between creole and pidgin language Pidgin is a language made up of elements of two or more other languages and weed for contacts between the speakers of other languages Creole is a language that has its origin in extended contact between two language communities What do you mean by lingua franca A lingua franca is a language systematically used to communicate between persons not sharing a mother tongue in particular when it is a third language distinct from both persons mother tongues What is a dialect A dialect is the original variant of a language distinguished by minimal lexical grammatical or phonological differences from variants of the same language what is diglossia diglossia refers to a situation in which two dialects or languages are used by a single language community what do you mean by code switching code switching is a linguistics term denoting the concurrent use of more than one language or language variety in conversation what do you understand by isogloss an isogloss is the geographical boundary of a certain linguistic feature such as the pronunciation of a vowel the meaning of a word or use of some syntactic feature how would you define the idiolect in linguistics an idiolect is a variety of a language unique to an individual it is manifested by patterns of vocabulary or idiom selection grammar or pronunciations that are unique to the individual how many types of discourse are there are different types of discourse informative narrative argumentative what is the aim of discourse analysis The aim of discourse analysis is the investigation of language functions along with its forms. What are the links within discourse? Links in discourse analysis are divided into two groups: formal, contextual. What does grammar mean? In linguistics, grammar is the set of structural rules that govern composition of sentences, phrases, and words in any given natural language. How many types of grammar are? There are different types of grammar: formal grammar, generative grammar, systematic functional grammar, lexical functional grammar. What is generative grammar? Generative grammar is a branch of theoretical linguistics that works to provide a set of rules that can accurately predict which combinations of words are able to make grammatically correct sentences. What is a noun phrase? In grammar, a noun phrase is a phrase whose head is a noun or a pronoun, optionally accompanied by a modifier set. How would you define verb phrase? A verb phrase is a syntactic structure composed of the predicative 
elements of a sentence and its function is to provide information about the subject of the sentence. What is an adverb phrase? An adverbial or adverbial phrase is a linguistic term for a group of two or more words operating adverbially when viewed in terms of their syntactic function. What is an adjective phrase? An adjectival phrase or adjective phrase is a group of words in a sentence with an adjective which describes the noun. What are conjunctions? In grammar, a conjunction is a part of speech that connects two words, phrases or clauses together. What are determiners? A determiner is a noun modifier that ex expresses the reference of a noun or noun phrase in the context rather than attributes expressed by adjectives. What is microsocial linguistics? Microsocial linguistics explore the ways in which society influences a speaker's idiolect, meaning the specific language of a person, and how people communicate with one another in line with different social variables factors. What is the relationship between language and culture? Language is the verbal expression of culture. A culture's language contains everything its speakers can think about and and every way they have of thinking about things. What does psycholinguistics focus on? An important focus of psycholinguistics is the largely unconscious application of grammatical rules that enable people to produce of psycholinguistics is the largely unconscious application of grammatical rules of grammatical rules that enable people to produce and comprehend and comprehend intelligible sentences. With the next video, I will be there. Stay tuned to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Please watch and share. Bye-bye.